Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Shane Mosley says Conor McGregor may be surprised with Floyd Mayweather's power. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the notification gang gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the super chats. I've been going live stream. Y'all been holding it down, asking good questions, donating through the live chat, super chat feature. Shout out to the regular channel donations through PayPal and also the Patreon family. We work it. Now, Shane Mosley, he just recently announced his retirement, so I want to send him off and wish him a happy retirement. I'm sure he's going to be working with his son and probably other fighters. And, you know, he's still staying in shape and stuff. Shane Mosley did an interview with Undefeated on Fox Sports, and he broke down the Mayweather power circumstance. And this is a guy who's fought Floyd Mayweather. Shout out to my dude, Shane Mosley. And Shane Mosley said, strategically, I see Mayweather having a great time. I see him laughing and smiling while Conor McGregor is trying to hit him and find him. I see McGregor noticing how hard Mayweather hits because he doesn't think that he hits that hard. I think he will notice how hard Mayweather hits, and when he gets hit by Mayweather, he will notice that it's different from UFC punches. He also says, there's a misconception about the gloves. The gloves are only meant to protect the fighter's hands, not protect the fighter's jaw. Back in the day when fighters would fight bare knuckle, they would hurt their hands and break their hands. They had to find a way to keep the fighters fighting. They started hand wraps first, then they went to the gloves. So he's saying that everyone's tripping off the eight ounce versus ten ounce, but he said they're really, they really were um, in place to protect the fighters' hands, which which is that is actually true. You know what I mean? And I want to talk about this. I want to talk about what Shane Mosley had to say. And I mean, I agree with him. I, I really feel like this, and I'm not gonna go back and forth in the comment section with a lot of knuckleheads and stuff. You got a lot of people crossing over from the MMA who feel Conor McGregor is invincible. Oh, in a street fight. It's not a street fight. You got to understand that. You know what I mean? And it's like Tom Brady is one of the greatest quarterbacks, if not the greatest quarterback ever, right? But if you put him in basketball with, with Steph Curry or LeBron, it's, it's a different ball game. It doesn't matter how good he was in his sport. It is, at the end of the day, it's a different sport. You know what I mean? Even though Tom Brady... He's close to invincible in football, NFL. It doesn't mean anything in another sport. And that's what it is. Conor McGregor, he's a solid fighter. He could fight. But his stand-up being um, up to par in the UFC, I'm not trying to be rude, but that's not really saying much because some guys don't focus on their stand-up game in the UFC. They might be wrestlers, like Chad Mendes. You know what I'm saying? He, he's more of a wrestler than he is a stand-up and, uh, come on, strike. You know what I mean? And I just noticed this fight, it's a big fight. I think it'll do good numbers. But it, it's brought a lot of casuals out. A lot of people say the same shit, just recycled information. Like, the thing is, real boxing fans, if you ask them to break down the fight, they could go on and on, 15, 30 minutes, an hour even, talking and breaking down the fight. But I noticed with the casuals, they cannot do that. What they do is take certain rhetoric and recycle the information and just repeat it. Oh, Mayweather, brittle hands. You know what I mean? Connor said that. Casual fans say that. Oh, you're 40 years old. Oh, Mayweather's too small. Connor bounces head off canvases. You know what I'm saying? They're not bringing nothing new to the conversation. But when it comes to punching power, I think boxers turn their punches different. And when somebody's accurate, it's, it's different. And Floyd Mayweather is that. And I've said it for a while. A lot of people have this notion that, oh, brittle hand Floyd, and he can't crack an egg. I don't think his power is like Pauli Malignaggi or even Tim Bradley. I think he has snappy power. And speed helps to produce power, you know what I mean? Because you don't see the shot coming. So if you get snapped right with the right punch. Now, you got to keep in mind Floyd in his career from Pretty Boy Floyd to Money Mayweather. He's moved up five classes. So naturally, a lot of guys are bigger, naturally stronger, naturally bigger. So he's not going to just stop everybody. But you got to ask yourself this. If everything they say is true, the casual fans, right? Floyd can't crack an egg, he has no power. Then... I really feel like it would be very hard to be undefeated, you know what I mean? 
even if you are undefeated, why haven't you been knocked down? You know what I mean? If, if somebody does not respect your punching power and they're naturally 15, 23 pounds bigger than you, then why don't they just bull rush you and be like, fuck this, this weak ass shit, and bull rush you and get you out of there? But obviously, there's stuff that Mayweather is doing, and it's not all defensive. That's another misconception. Everybody thinks that Floyd, Floyd obviously is a master of defense, but they think he doesn't have offensive skills. This is like, I don't know what you're watching. You probably aren't watching. That's the thing. So, a lot of misconceptions. Shane Mosley, he said it in the past. He says, Mayweather and Canelo hit pretty much the same, or Mayweather and Pacquiao, one of the two, or it might have been all three of them. He said they have equivalent power. You know what I mean? It just comes at you different. So, I, I agree here. I think McGregor is probably underestimating. I mean, listen to what he's saying. He's saying, oh, his skull's too small. My fist is bigger than his head and stuff like that. And I'm going to be 170 plus on, on the fight night. So, he's not really thinking Floyd could hurt him. But in boxing, that's why they call it the sweet science. There's certain things strategically you can do. And it don't matter who you are. All that muscle mass, how strong you are. I've seen some of the strongest fighters fall. Watch Shane Mosley versus Antonio Margarito. Granite Chin Margarito. You know what I mean? And he got knocked out. My brother went to that fight. Shout out to my brother, David. Um, Lucas Matisse. Is there anybody out there that really believes that Matisse hits softer than Victor Postal? But Victor Postal was the guy who frustrated and later stopped him and made him take a long ass break and hiatus Andre Ward most people would say Sergey Kovalev is clearly the bigger puncher and he just stopped Kovalev so it's the sweet science you can't it's not just about power anyway but I think a lot of people underrate some things with Mayweather because they don't like him his chin his power they, oh he, he, he's feather fisted let him punch you in the grill you know what I'm saying but that's what it is that's Shane Mosley's thoughts he stepped in the ring with him I agree. I think that Mayweather, would he, like, because he's not getting these Deontay Wilder style knockouts, it's to be expected. He moves five divisions up. Put Lomachenko five divisions from where he started, five divisions up from it. I guarantee you, he probably won't be getting stoppages because I don't even see too much power in the lighter division. Floyd, on the other hand, he had power when he was fighting Arturo Gatti. You could tell those shots were hurting them guys, the Diego. Um, Corrales and stuff like that so it's a, it's a bit different but let me know what you guys think of Shane Mosley August 26th we'll answer everything we'll see if Connor can pull the upset most people aren't thinking so but hey if he does it let's see it and I do think Mayweather has underrated snappy power again if, if he didn't then Canelo and all these other guys are foolish because how they fought him. If you don't respect the guy's power and you can just walk through it, then walk through it and get him out of there. But they don't do that. So obviously, it's something, the, the timing and everything, Robert Guerrero, all these guys, they, they respect something about it. And that's what you have to ask yourself. Let me know what you guys think of Sugar Shane Mosley, now retires thoughts on Fox Sports. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe.